as a nation, as a people, as a community, we need to seek for God. As somebody would say, in the last days, people will be running to and from, seeking for wealth and education. I, I would like to say, in these last days, be a person who's seeking for God. Seek for wealth that comes from God. The word of God says, seek for his face. Continually. Remember his marvelous works. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done. When you seek for the Lord, God is always there to be found. You see, as I said, people are seeking for a lot of things. They are seeking for wealth, seeking for this, that and those, that whatever their hands can find. But they've got little time to pray. They've got little time to seek for God. Yet in these times, this is the time we ought to seek for the face of God. You see, when God is saying seek for his face, he understands your experiences. If you understand your experiences, he says there is no experience in your life which is in a dark chapter that you cannot read. There is no perplexity that you are passing through that it cannot make it ease. There is no pain that it cannot soothe because he is a God who is in the business of being found by the people that are seeking for him. You see, when you seek for the Lord, he is going to be found. You see, the life of Jesus Christ was found in two M's. He was found on the mountain, praying. He was found in the multitude, helping and preaching. He was found in the P. He was found in prayer and preaching. The life of Jesus Christ was sanguished. He was not only I mean, a one-sided Christian, because there are so many Christians who are so heavenly minded, and yet they are very earthly useless. They don't work. They only want to pray. God is looking for people who are going to seek for him in the character of Christ. When you seek for God in the character of Christ, you are going to be praying and you are going to be preaching. You are going to be worshiping and you are going to be working. You are going to go on the mountain and you'll be in the multitude. When you're in the multitude, you are showing people how a Christian looks like. When they see a Christ-like person, then they will also adopt the life of prayer. Because the life of prayer doesn't teach us to be idle, but it teaches us to be victorious. So that one day we can be elevated. Because God is depending on us that the world may see this God who is invisible. But they may see him through our works. They may see him through our kindness. They may see him. Because it says, seek for the face of the Lord continually. Remember his marvelous works. You can only forget about God if you forget how he led you in the past to this day. May God bless you as you continue to seek for his face and may establish you in his kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.